chose him for her own And her love made Clifford grow so big That the Howards had to leave their home Clifford's the best friend anyone could know He's the greatest dog ever I really think so Clifford's so loyal He's there when you call I love Clifford, the big red dog So they packed up a family car And the Howards left the city They moved to Birdwell Island and their many new friends There to greet Clifford and Emily Clifford's so much fun, he's a friend to us all I love Clifford, the big red dog Doghouse, don't you? I remember when we lived in the city and we didn't have room for a doghouse for you. <laughs> Would you like to hear the story about living in the city again, Clifford? <laughs> okay, I think we have time for one more story. Whoa. Let's see. When I first brought you home, you were a tiny, tiny puppy, but it wasn't very long before you really started to grow. In fact, you got so big, you couldn't even fit into the house anymore. I'm sorry, Clifford. I love you very much, but you're too big to fit in my room now. You're too big to fit in the building. I'll see you first thing in the morning, I promise. Now go lay down. Good night. Sorry, Clifford. Nighty-night blanket. Clifford okay, Emily Elizabeth? What's happening? Is it Clifford? Is he all right? I think Clifford's having a hard time sleeping tonight. Maybe he'd like a blanket to curl up with like my little Taffy has. Our Brutus can't sleep a wink without his favorite bear. 
And Frankie down there really loves his little basket. Maybe Clifford would like something like that, too. Don't worry, Emily Elizabeth. We'll find something to make Clifford more comfortable. We'll make sure he's nice and cozy by bedtime tomorrow night. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Here you go, Clifford. How does that feel? It sure was nice of all our neighbors to bring these blankets for him. Everyone really pitched in. This is for you too, Clifford. Woof, woof, woof. Oh, I'm glad you like it. He looks really happy now. Come on, it's time for us to go to bed too. Good night, Clifford. 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 Clifford! Clifford! Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, boy. Time for a walk. Whoa, 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 <laughs> okay, okay. Let's get this leash on you and off we'll go. dog like that needs a big workout. Does he like to fetch balls? Sure. Woof.
We went back to that field and played ball almost every day that summer. Remember, Clifford? Woof. It was really fun. But all that growing and exercise were really giving you a big appetite. We went to the grocery store almost every day. Emily Elizabeth? Where are you, honey? <laughs> Here I am. You know, I'm beginning to understand how Clifford must feel, living in that small backyard with not much room to move. I've been thinking that too. As hard as we try to make Clifford comfortable here, there's just too much of him and not enough space. Maybe Clifford could live in the baseball park. Then he'd have lots of room, and we could build him a great big doghouse. Actually, <laughs> Actually we, we had, had something, something else, else in mind. All the room you need to be happy. <sighs> And I'm pretty happy here, too. Good night, Clifford. and his friends were going to play one of their favorite games, volleyball. They found the perfect place to set up their net. And then it was time to choose teams. But with Speckle, Reba, and Darnell on one side, and Rabby and Luna on the other, the teams didn't seem fair. So they decided to try again. And again! But no matter how many different combinations they tried, the teams were always uneven. How could they play so that the teams would have the same number of players, they wondered. Then Speckle thought of a way they could all be on the same team. And they found that the best way to play was together. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? Woof. <laughs> Jetta's sweater. Cute new sweaters, Emily Elizabeth. Hmm? Hmm? Hmm. More texture. Hmm. More color. one looks best on me? The blue one or the green one? What do you think? <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like this pink one. You like that? Uh-huh. <laughs> it's really cute. Where'd you get it? Mm, I don't remember. It's not really my style. Try it on if you want to. Okay. Thanks. Not like that. Like this. Oh, it's so cute. Whoa. <laughs> Thanks. Maybe I could borrow it sometime. 
You can have it if you want. Really? Are you sure? Sure. I'd probably never wear it anyway. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, Jetta. Move. What do you think? Good boy, Mac. Oh, you're the best catcher in town. Of course, it helps that I'm the best thrower. Jetta, can you come here a minute, dear? Now, don't forget, we're picking Grandma Ethel up at the ferry this afternoon. I remember. I can't wait to see her. And she can't wait to see you in the sweater she gave you. The sweater? Well, you know, the pink one with the yellow flowers. <laughs> oh, yeah. The pink one. You can wear it when we go to pick her up. <laughs> Great idea, Mom. Oh, Mac. I completely forgot that Grandma Ethel gave me that sweater. What am I going to do? <laughs> I'm just gonna have to get my sweater back from Emily Elizabeth Mac. I mean, I know how much she loves it. And I know I gave it to her, but I'll just take that one back and I'll give her this one instead and everyone will be happy, right? Oh. Come on, Clifford, give me a nice big smile. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, Charlie, let's brush. That's not so bad now, is it, Clifford? <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi, Hi Jetta. Whoa, whoa. Uh, Clifford. <laughs> Sorry about that, Jetta. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's okay. Ah, I see you're wearing the pink sweater, Emily Elizabeth. Of course, it's my new favorite. Thank you so much for giving it to me. It was really nice of you to give it to her, Jetta. Oh, thanks. But, you know, now that I look at it, I think it's really the wrong color for you. You look much better in blue. <gasps> hey, why don't you take this one instead? Oh, no thanks. This one is perfect. <laughs> I think it's time to rinse, Charlie. <laughs> yeah, I think so, too. Well, that didn't work, Mac. I guess it's time for Plan B. Thanks for offering to get us ice cream, Jetta. Yeah, that's two nice things in one day. What's going on? Nothing. I just thought you might like some ice cream. I want chocolate. Me too. Two chocolate cones, please. Today, Jetta. Well, it really should be cleaned right away, or that stain will never come out. <laughs> I'll take care of it. Huh? <laughs> Looks like Clifford is going to take care of it. <laughs> Thank you, Clifford. The stain is all gone. Sure, the sweater is clean, but we are all wet. <laughs> Not for long. <laughs> Not with Clifford the big red blow dryer. 
Right! Good old Clifford. so I can hide it and make her think she lost it. Maybe the hot sun will make her take off the sweater. Hey, guys! Let's swing! Whee! I just love swinging! <laughs> but it's really hot out here, don't you think? I'm gonna take off my sweater. Don't you want to take yours off too, Emily Elizabeth? It is a little hot. Here, I'll take it for you. Oh, never mind. Clifford will keep us cool. <laughs> thanks, Clifford. Woo! Woo! Yeah, thanks, Clifford. <gasps> oh, no! The fairy is here. Oh, I guess I'm gonna have to go meet Grandma Ethel now. Your grandmother's coming in on the ferry? Uh-huh. I better go. I'll go with you. No! I mean, uh, you don't want to meet my grandma. <laughs> hey, I'll come too. Come on, Clifford. I don't think... I mean, you don't really... You guys don't... Oh, what's the difference? Hello, dear. Are these your friends? Uh-huh. This is Charlie and Emily Elizabeth. Nice to meet you. Hello. Hi. Why, Jetta, isn't this the pink sweater I sent you? You gave this to Jetta? Yes, I'm sure that's the one. It is, Grandma, but I... It... Well, you see... I... You what, dear? She let me borrow it after I told her how much I loved it. Here you go, Jetta. Thanks. Thank you, Emily Elizabeth. That was a very nice thing to do, Jetta. But now let's see how it looks on you. Okay. Oh, not like that, dear. Like this. mistake giving away that sweater, but I completely forgot that my Grandma Ethel gave it to me. It's okay, but you should have just asked for it back instead of trying to trick me. I know I should have. It would have made things a lot easier, that's for sure. Listen, Emily Elizabeth, I really want to make it up to you. What can I do? Well, why don't you buy me another chocolate ice cream cone? Okay, but are you sure you want chocolate? Chocolate really isn't your color, you know. <laughs> <laughs> But first, let's eat. Clifford and I both love playing with our friends. It's fun to be together, especially when you share. Having a picnic today was a great idea, Clifford. Yeah, I brought a whole bag of my favorite dog treats. They're so good. Who wants to try one? I do. You bet. Me too. Mine are delicious too. Here. Great, looks good. Yeah, you guys have to taste mine. Thanks. Mine are pretty doggone good, too. Aren't you gonna share, Mac? Oh, <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, try one of mine, guys. Mmm, thanks. Okay. You're right, Mac. <laughs> Yum. It's nice when you share with your friends. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is sharing. 
sharing. <laughs>